In this part of Core Web Vital, we will know how to reduce unused JavaScript on your WordPress or non WordPress website. So, what is unused JavaScript? So, there may be a different script has been installed on your website, on your header, or on your footer. As a generic developer or designer, what they do is they link your scripts in just before the closing body tag for your website and that particular script can may not be in use for your current audit page like here i have been audited on webby.com it may not be usable or use on that particular but maybe it's there for the different pages on your website so it can it does impact on your largest contextual paint which is the vital part of this audit or audit by the google core web vital so what you need is you can actually perform different set of methods to actually reduce that particular error on your page so here as you can see i have been auditing my website here webb.com and i got this reduce and use javascript as an opportunity to correct that for my website to score higher in the performance part of core web vital so as you can see there are a brief of which is being unused on my website and you can see the transfer size and the potential savings just before getting on to it let me tell you the structure of my website see as i told you in the previously the main website is on my custom php script and in the blog section is about a uh, blog and th there are different javascript has been installed on this particular main page or my internal first is this audit tool which is also have a php and javascript integration whenever someone type the address to it and you can run an audit for your website and second is to get recent listed website from the recent audit by our user as you can see it's a number of six a website has been audited from there and third is to get the post from the wordpress section or the latest pro from the wordpress section to the main page such that it gives you the insights of my blog so that's the third script on it and the fourth is this contact form which is based on the javascript plus php and there's a coding in also so that's the part of the different javascript has been used on this particular website and there can be unused javascript which has been mentioned here so first is the recapture recapture may not be working when this tool has downloaded my website for the first time and when it ran the audit for the first time so for example recapture has been enabled for my audit tool so it is being used to let the bot stay away from my website if some bot just enter any url here it the recapture will be shown and they have to resolve the recapture to run the audit so recapture just works the flawless to stay the bots away from my website so that's the important part it may not be working at the first point but it is needed when someone actually per perform an action to it so that's about it so i will be needing that it may not be suggested by the tool itself but i need that particular integration or a script file so next is add this widget add this widget is a social sharing widget which is a third party widget so i cannot actually do anything about it so it has different layers to it like html and layers to it so i need every bit of this code and the third is the both are from the google tag manager google tag manager as you know i have covered in the previous part it is needed for my website what you i can do is i can defer or async that to just defer load this script what does that mean is whenever browser download your website so it downloaded from the top to the bottom and if you want the script to be downloaded later you can add a defer code to it so we will describe that in the upcoming minutes so in the first part we will do it for the non wordpress user so if you don't have any wordpress website then you can just use different set of action to keep this error away from your audit so first thing you can do is remove unused javascript detect unused code and remove it if you have a d javascript developer on your team so even if you are a developer then you can do it easily so what how you can do it just open your website on which you are running your audit just right click on it click on inspect and here is the coverage part okay so if you don't have a coverage here the coverage tab here don't don't stress on it you can easily add to it how just type control plus shift plus p it will open the command center there you just need to enter the coverage here and after you enter the coverage it will show this just click on it it will show a tab like this so what you need to do is click the record button so it will just start downloading scripts on your website as you can see here just click the reload also so it will start downloading every files that has been uploaded on your server so here you can see there are unused bytes from this particular files 
as you can see there's a 0% to up to 53.2% so if you have a 100% used file on your page which you have been running your audit on then you can just select that and remove that from your page so that will be the best way to deal with this particular error and in the next part if you have a developer as i said if you have a javascript developer on your team then ask them to reduce code which is not have any impact on that particular page for example this code whenever you click on this code like it has unused bytes of 53.2 percent so it has a savings around 200 kilobytes so let me just put it down here as you can see these the red r is not in use and the blue are in use so there are many unused code which can be deleted from this particular code and impact on your co web vital so ask them to delete it because i won't be doing that because this is a recapture plugin and this is the third party plugin and i need that because there may be a code that has been using on this particular version and taking from their own system so i won't be doing anything to it so in the next part we will use this particular data and use a defer or async code to our script such that it will download just later part of the downloading process so browser as i've said browser start downloading all your script or html files from top to bottom and if you want them to reduce that pressure from downloading it from your unused or maybe a partially used javascript then you can just add a defer or async code to it so how you can do that just open your files or download your file from your ftp client here i've been using my own file manager from my control panel and there is a main.php file here yeah so here what i will be doing is open it with your own code editor so what I will be doing is searching for .js. Okay, so it's not there. So the code has been added to either from footer or header. So let me see where my code is there. As you can see, data Google Tag Manager obviously it will be on header. So let's go to the header.php and there you can see there's a code which is here Google Tag Manager something like that. And what you can do is you can add a defer code to it like here this is part of this let me add a defer to it this attribute tell the audit or any browser to just download it in the end so you don't need to emphasize on this particular script so i will be deferring this add this because i don't mind my user to wait a little to actually show that sharing button so i will add the defer to it just click on the save and after adding your defer attribute you can just run the audit again and it won't show these url there so let's just open the learn more section here to actually learn more methods to it and to, and for the detailed tutorial you can just search the google here defer javascript files there is actually two attributes you can use async or defer so there you go so they have added a defer like this uh, you can easily add that on your script to let the page to download it later so this is actually the middle two method or you can also do the code splitting what is the code splitting like we have done here the coverage part there is some code that has been not in use in my page you can just delete that all those code and the which the code that actually matter on your page you can add it as your javascript code for example if i use the view page source of my website as you can see there is a style element that has been particularly for my home page i have added as a different code not in the style sheet such that my score for the large contextual paint will be better and there may be some of the script if i am not wrong just going to the footer yeah so there is the script that has been used for to get the subscriber email integration so i have been added on just before the closing body tag for my footer section which is this so it has been integrated with the mailchimp so we have decided to add it on the footer because it won't be needing on the other pages it only needed on the main page so we have decided to add it as a different script not to add any other file to it so that's about it so how you can actually remove or code split your javascript code to reduce this error or reduce unused javascript bytes or you can actually use defer attribute or async attribute to delay that script to load for the browsers so that's about the non wordpress website so moving for the wordpress websites so let's just run for my blog section let it run 
so there is a plugin which i've been advertising for a while which is develop rocket okay and let me go to my dashboard plugins here here it is develop rocket and if we go to the settings so it's actually the best plugin out there and and if you see the score here is the performance which is about 85 percent so as you can see even if you go to the opportunities and diagnostic section there's actually nothing to worry about so reducing initial server response time it depends on the servers you have been using so i've been using a server so it may have impact on that particular server but i'm also using a cdn so it won't have an, that much of a difference because it doesn't matter in the long term so as you can see the big sites out there has been getting this particular error so if you want to reduce that we will also discuss in this particular playlist so wp rocket is actually the best out there for every wordpress website to load your page like a rocket as the name suggests you can follow in the link in the description box and download it for yourself and see for yourself so here is the file optimization section and here is the javascript file it says the minify javascript obviously it can load it or minify it and there is the load javascript deferred as we have done for our first part for the non wordpress user we have deferred the script here that's the same which is load javascript deferred and there is a delay javascript execution so it improved performance by delaying the loading of a javascript files until user interaction so it has a big impact on your large contextual paint lcp so you should enable this option and it your error from this or it will be resolved in no time so that's how you can actually use it easily if you don't want any plugin for the same purpose then you can do it just the non wordpress way so if you are not familiar or don't want plugin like this then you can follow the non wordpress suggestions on your wordpress website also for that part you need to go to theme file editor go to the footer here footer.php check all the script has been installed and add the defer tag to it and remove it from your pages so that's about it so if you have learned something from this video then click on the like button and if you want to learn much more like this as a technical seo then you should subscribe to this channel so see you in the next video until then bye bye